Hi, I'm Mark Toll from Panasonic, and I want to tell you about my seven favorite features of the Panasonic Lumic S5 camera. Now, this is it. So my one of my favorite features, the first thing I noticed when I took this camera out of the box, is its size. But my favorite feature, and I know you're expecting me to talk about things like lenses or buttons or settings or things like that, is just the image quality that comes out of the camera. The color, the sharpness, the availability to shoot in any type of light with this camera is just amazing. It's the first thing I noticed about it, and it's the first thing I judge on a camera before I look at any of the other physical features. So as you can see behind me, the, camera, the pictures come right out of the camera looking just beautiful. They need very little adjustment, but I can still do anything I want to in Lightroom with the RAW or the JPEG files. Anyway, it's a full-frame camera, 24 megapixels. And uh, anyways, let, let's get down to the features you're expecting, the ones that, uh, that, that really uh, put the icing on the cake for this camera. One thing I really like about the Lumix S5 it's a, is its ability to shoot in low light with very low noise. The S5 uses a what's called a dual ISO sensor. This means that there's one set of circuitry for normal lighting and there's another set of circuitry that kicks in automatically when you get in low light situations like this. It lets you get very clean photos or video at ISO 6400 like this video was shot at on the S5. These are examples of photos that I've shot at higher ISOs with the uh, Lumix S5 camera. This also applies to the S1 and the S1H. You can see the ISO in the bottom uh, left corner there, and these are some uh, pretty dark uh, situations that I shot these images in. So in this short video, I'm going to combine two of my favorite features together. The first is stabilization. So Panasonic cameras are known for their excellent dual image stabilization. This means the body and the lens are combined. If the lens is stabilized, it talks to the body and they work together to give you up to six and a half stops of stabilization. Now, this great 20 to 60 millimeter lens that comes with the S5 in its kit is not stabilized. So it's using mostly body stabilization, which works fine with wide angle lenses. You mainly need that dual stabilization at the more telephoto, lens, uh, telephoto range. Now, the other thing I love about this lens, as long as we're here, is how close it focuses. So if I want to, it's not official macro, but it's pretty darn close. So I can get that close with this lens when I'm at 20 millimeters. So you combine the stabilization, the close focusing, I'm shooting at ISO 6400 here, the low noise at the high ISOs, and you can shoot this camera anywhere and get great results. This is the flower picture I just shot at a tenth of a second in the video. And these pictures uh, were all shot under a twentieth of a second handheld using the uh, dual image or just the in-body stabilization on the Lumix S5. My next favorite feature of the Lumix S5 is that it's dust and splash resistant. I live in Portland, Oregon, where we frequently get a lot of rain, and as you can see, I got caught in a rain shower this day, but it was no problem. I dried off the camera, and everything continued to work fine when the sun came back out. If you live in a drier area, a desert area, it's also um, dust resistant, or if you uh, live near the ocean. So uh, anyways, lets you take this camera and shoot anywhere. The S5 is also a great video camera, as you can see in all of these videos that have been shot with the S5 and the 20 to 60 millimeter kit lens. Now, things like face detection autofocus, which I'm using in all of these that I'm shooting by myself, I'm just pointing the camera at myself with its uh, articulating monitor pointed towards me so I can see if, how I'm doing, how I look. Um, it does 4K at 60p, it's got HDR, it has unlimited recording modes, it has two SD card slots, the dual stabilization I talked about, and the um, dual sensor um, ISO, both work in the video mode. So not only can you shoot in really low light, you can also handhold this camera in a lot of situations that you would normally need a tripod. So if you're looking for a great stills camera and video camera together, or one or the other, the S5 is the camera for you. The S5, along with all of the other cameras in the uh, Panasonic Lumix S series full frame lineup, use L-mount lenses. Now the L-mount alliance is Sigma, Panasonic, and Leica. So there are a lot of choices of lenses as you can see in this photograph. Plus they all fit the Leica L bodies and um, there are now a couple of Sigma 
bodies that take the L-mount lenses. And there's a, a growing number of L-mount lenses, both stabilized, non-stabilized, in every focal length that you could possibly want. So I know I said I was only going to talk about seven features of the Lumix S5, but I've got just three more to go. Just I just have to tell you about these three, and then I promise it's over. You can go home to your loved ones and, uh, and or go to Horn Photo and buy one of these S5 cameras. So here we go. I'm going to just demonstrate these on the camera real quickly, show you how easy they are to set, and then we're done. So again, thanks for listening. The first setting I want to talk about is time-lapse. All Lumix cameras have very easy to set up and create the video from the time-lapse in the camera. Let me show you how to do that real quickly. On the S5, you turn to the time-lapse mode on the dial on the left side of the top of the camera. So as soon as you turn the dial to the time-lapse setting, this will come up in the bottom right corner of the screen. You push the menu set button and it takes you right to the time lapse animation settings where you can set your interval, your number of pictures, whether you want it to start now or you want it to shoot, uh, let's say, when the sun rises in the morning. You can do all that right here from this menu. Then you just push the shutter button and it shoots as many pictures as you've programmed in. And then the beauty of it is after it's done, it creates the final time-lapse video in the camera for you to have, or you can also have all of the um, JPEG files that it shoots. One of my next favorite modes is the high-resolution shot mode. This is where it actually moves the sensor. So the 24-megapixel sensor gets moved as you shoot and creates up to a 96-megapixel file for you for really high-resolution, extremely large prints, or if you want to do a lot of cropping. It's very easy to set up. I push the Menu Set button. In the Camera mode, I go over to the high-resolution mode. And this is where it gives me my choices of sizes. You can see it can go up to 96 megapixels. Um, it can take a simultaneous picture at the same time. It can delay the shutter. Um, it just has all sorts of settings to let you uh, get the most out of this high resolution mode. So the last feature I want to talk about is Live Composite. What Live Composite is, is it basically you can program the camera to take pictures in a series so that it records, um, let's say, light painting or star trails, um, anything like that where you want to record something, you want to have something happen in the scene and you want to record it as it happens. Like, let, let's say you're painting a light painting a car or something like that. It just keeps recording the images and and combining them together, it's a composite, to make a final picture that has all of these individual pictures in it as you paint. To get to that, you just push the Menu Set button, you go to Live Composite, and you can set the shutter delay, and then you just push the Start button, and it just starts recording pictures, and then builds the Live Composite in the camera for you. Now that you know all the reasons that the Panasonic Lumix S5 is such a great camera, head down to Horn Photo in Fresno and pick one up and say hi for Mark while you're down there.